Eels are interesting. I, I, I wanted to emphasize the point that they actually link the land between with the ocean. And this is the only species that we have that does this. It's probably taken about 30 years for people to appreciate that this species is in fact declining. In other words, uh, people need a lot of evidence, they need a lot of convincing. People don't accept change very well, very well. And we now know that this species is declining and it's now universally accepted it is declining. I think it's critically important that this species is able to recolonize its former habitats. And you know, I think the true measure of success here is whether this animal really is able to eventually be seen in any kind of abundance, rather, not, rather than just a novelty, but in any kind of abundance at the full extremity of its range. And the full extremity of its range would be the land between. I uh, have studied the American eel and uh, watched this decline, documented it. Uh, we've done a number of studies uh, on various aspects of the American eel, uh, mainly looking at changes in abundance. One way we look at change in abundance is we, uh, we electrofish, which puts an electric current through the water, which stuns the fish, doesn't kill it. We can take the fish and measure it. We uh, measure it and weigh it and release it and we can actually measure the density of fish on an area basis and we've used this method now for a long time. In fact, some of our indices that we developed with commercial fishermen actually who used this method and, and now can't fish because the, the fisheries have been closed, uh, we actually hire the, this fisherman to actually go on and electrofish for us to continue these indices uh, so we can see whether they're increasing in abundance a bit or whether they're declining. I think we need to know whether this fish is present. We need to know whether it's increasing in abundance or decreasing in abundance. So we do surveys across the range of the species. We know that <clears throat> we're quite sure they've disappeared from most of the lakes. Uh, in the land between, so we work downstream and I think it's critically important to know abundance downstream and to make sure that the downstream areas are opened up so that they can push to the land between without being impeded by dams. And, and I have faith that working together we can make a difference by publicizing these concerns, by making sure that the young people appreciate that eels exist. So anything that keeps eels in our consciousness, I think, moves that benchmark a little more in the right direction.